Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video, but first, before I have to take these off because of the glare, how do we feel about these new glasses? I personally am in love with them. I like that you can actually see my face now, um, but they're still kind of a glare, so I'm just gonna put them up there for now. So yeah, like I said, today's video is very exciting because I have a package. This isn't just any package. I didn't buy this. This was actually sent to me from a company to test out and review and tell you guys about. So I'll get into all the details later, but first I just want to say thank you so much to Extremely Emollient, the brand who sent this to me. I am so excited to test out your products and I hope that I can continue working with you in the future. Um, but in today's video, we're going to look at all the things that they sent me. I'm going to give you my first impressions and we're going to test out at least one of them. So if you don't know, Extremely Emollient is a brand that focuses on luxury creams and they are always made in small batches with natural organic ingredients and they're always BPA cruelty, GMO, and paraben free, also vegan, and SPF 8. Um, and all that information is just on their Instagram and looking at it really quickly. The creams are meant for everyday use, I believe, and I think they also have something to give to massage therapists. So if you are someone who does that or someone who is interested in that, um, they have large tubs specifically for you um but going through their instagram still because i had a question i was just seeing if anyone had ever asked before and they did someone asked um, are the creams okay to use on the face and they said absolutely not only will they reduce local inflammation and help balance hydration in your skin but the unscented version can also be used as a makeup based and remover so that's interesting. Um, I believe they sent me all six of their scents. Um, so we can just go ahead and open them right now and I'll show you everything that came in the package. So they gave me this cute little tool bag, I assume is for travel to keep the little tubs in. And then I have a paper that tells me about all of the things. And then I have a letter from them talking about the products they sent me um, and reviews and stuff. So that's for me to deal with later. Um, and then this is so cute. It is, I hope this isn't upside down. It is. <laughs> it's a little card they gave me. It has extremely emollient on it. And then their contact information and available scents on the back. So I'll keep this over there as well. At first when I pulled out, I thought it was a gift card and I was just like, what? <laughs> but no, it's just their information. So let me get out all the tubs and then I'll be back. Here are all six of the tubs. The ones they sent me are the two ounce, I believe. Yeah, two ounces. Um, sorry, it's hard to read without my glasses. Um, I believe they do sell them in these sizes, but the full size tubs are 12 ounces and those are full size i had to look it up on a website just to make sure the full size of these creams is 19.99 for 12 fluid ounces um i'm trying to look and see if they have these smaller ones on sale the gift sets are these two ounce jars and to get all six is 19.99 uh, they also have massage creams, as I said, that are a little bit more expensive, um, but are probably more concentrated and specifically for massages. But, so, really excited about this. Um, I'll just go in the order that I have them. I have lavender, vanilla orange, vanilla coconut, vanilla and peppermint, and unscented and I also have the fall blend so I'm gonna go through all of these and tell you what I think about the way they smell first 
So the first one that I want to go over, just because it stuck out to me in the little plant pamphlet they gave me, um, is the Fall Blend. The reason it stands out to me is the fact that all of the other scents are listed as having essential oils in them, but this one has fragrance instead. It does smell very fall time though, like, like maybe what one of those pumpkin pie candles from Yankee Candles smells like. Very delicious in fall time. Um, I'm not exactly sure why this one would have fragrance and the rest have essential oils in them, um, but I would say just from personal experience and having more sensitive skin, uh, they said on their Instagram that you can put them on your face, but if you do get a gift set with all of them in it, I think I would avoid putting this one on your face if you are prone to fragrances breaking you out. Um, personally, I can't wear fragrances on my face, but I will be able to still use this on my arms and my legs and everything. It's just, um, my facial skin just can't handle the fragrance. Vanilla and coconut. Mm, that's really good too. Oh, I lied. Um, I thought that the Fall Blend was the only one that had fragrance, but apparently this one does too. It has the um, coconut fragrance added to it, so this will also um, be a body only product for me. But it does smell really nice. Um, I completely understand why they would add coconut fragrance to this because you can use coconut oil and they do have coconut oil as one of the ingredients but whenever you blend it with other things you don't really get that coconut smell to come through um so it doesn't really bother me that this has fragrance in it it doesn't really bother me that the fall blend has fragrance in it um, i just can't use that on my face but the next one i'd like to talk about is the vanilla and orange which does contain real vanilla and real essential oil of orange Ooh, that's nice. Wow. I love this so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna show you, like, see if I can get some texture, but you can just see how, like, thick it is. Ooh, touching it kind of reminds me of a body butter. It smells so good oh my gosh I don't know if it's because of the vanilla that's added to it um it doesn't smell like a fresh cut orange to me um it actually smells more like a candied orange like if you have those boxes of valentine chocolate the orange cream that's inside the chocolate that's exactly what this smells like like so sweet and yummy oh my goodness I really like this one now I'm hungry <laughs> let's keep it going with the vanilla um, this one's vanilla and peppermint this contains real vanilla and real peppermint oil I didn't even have to get that close to it to smell the peppermint off of it oh gosh I oh my gosh I absolutely love peppermint. It's one of my favorite scents, like, year-round. Um, I just can't get enough of it. I have so many memories attached to peppermint. Oh, this smells like a candy cane. Oh, my gosh. So this is also very, very good. Wow. Whoever... I feel like they told me their story... I thought it was listed on this little letter they gave me, but the person who founded it made these creams to help them first, um, and then decided to start selling them to help everyone else. Uh, so I don't know if it's the same person who's over the scents and like getting those, but like keep doing what you're doing with the scents because it's lovely. Um, this one is lavender. Oh, that is amazing. I love lavender. I hate when companies use the fake smells. Um, 
so this just being lavender is really really nice and I'm such a sucker for lavender that I have like three other creams that are sitting by my bed and this is gonna go right over there with them um, I'll actually probably use this one more than what the ones I have though because the other ones have that artificial fragrance in it so it takes away from the lavender and then it also takes away from my use of it because I can't use it on my face or anything but I will probably absolutely like lather myself up with this because uh, I just the real lavender smell is so so good and it's really strong in this so that's that's really nice as well we have the unscented one as well um, Obviously, it doesn't have a fragrance or essential oils in it, but I'm going to give it a smell anyways. Mm, okay. It just smells um, like shea butter, which is also an ingredient in here. Um, if you've never smelled shea butter before, I know there are a lot of shea butter scented products, but none of those really smell like shea butter. This kind of, it has almost like a nutty chocolatey smell to it um i guess is how i would describe the raw shea butter smell but it's very nice um obviously i can't use it as a makeup base today uh, that is something though i will go over in my blog post because this is just like a first impressions of everything um but then at the end of this week i will which will probably actually be the same day that you guys are seeing this because this video is going up on Friday and right now it is Monday. Um, I will have the blog post with my full thoughts after using these guys um, and I will use this as a makeup base as part of that blog post so you can see that. Um, but I will at the end of the day I'll come back and we will compare this to my regular makeup remover. So I will just do half and half. Um, right now I just have um, foundation blush and highlight on but I am going to be doing some eye makeup in a little bit and some lipstick so it'll be a challenge for my own cleanser so I want to see how this can hold up to that and just see how it does on its own. So I will test out all of these beautiful babies throughout this week um, and like I said you'll see me later using it to take off my makeup so see you later. It is currently 7 57 p.m. so it's the end of my day so I'm just gonna take off my makeup. Um, I'm gonna do this side over here with what I usually use which is the Purity Made Simple from Philosophy um, and the side that's closest to the camera, I'm going to use the unscented cream. So I'm going to, with this side, after I put it on, I'm going to wipe it off and see what it looks like after the first wipe and get kind of closer to the camera when I do that. And then I'll do the same thing for this side and we'll figure out like which one does it better or if they're the same or... First wipe on the side. Okay, clearly it did get a lot off. I can still kind of see that there's some left. Uh, and let's get oops, on the forehead. Yeah, there's definitely still like some residue on this side, which is like, I already knew that was going to happen. Because like I said, this is what I use every time. Uh, sometimes it can take two washes to get everything off. Especially eye makeup and then the lips. do a bad job on the lips. Just isn't what I expected. 
I'm going to finish rinsing this side off and then we'll move on to this side. So I'm just going to scoop out a similar amount to what I had of the cleanser onto my finger here. Um, put that on the rest of my face. Mm, it definitely melted away the lipstick better than the first one. I'm just going to rinse this finger off. I'm actually going to dip in again and get like a tiny bit more because the first time it soaked into the skin so much I didn't even get to touch my eyes so but I'm assuming that if it is safe to remove makeup with that this is going to be safe to put on my eye uh, <laughs> let's hope for the best I guess let's go for the eye first this time Okay, I took the eye makeup off about the same as my regular one for the face. Okay, you can see kind of the makeup. Mm. It also looks about the same. Uh, It looks all good. Wow. Yep. I feel like the only thing I could tell a difference is that it definitely did melt away the lipstick more than my regular one. Which means I'll probably use this if I have like a really strong lip color on like I did today. I would prefer the cream over my usual one. I'm gonna give everything one more go all the way around. Okay. So I'm trying to face off. Um let's talk about feel. Neither side really feels different. There is a bit of a tackiness on my regular remover side um, because that's just something that's always happened with that remover for some reason. So I like that I can't feel the tackiness on this side, but I can over here. Uh, let me get the mirror closer. Looking closer up. Still not seeing much of a difference between the two sides. Everything looks good to me. I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my skincare routine and that'll be that. Uh, what I will say is that I feel like they were both like worked about the same. So I mean, that's kind of a good thing for this because it wasn't worse, uh, which I think the full size 12 ounces of this is $19.99 and then this size that is 8 fluid ounces retails for $24 I believe, I'll put the price if it's different. Um, so obviously with this one you get more but this is also more concentrated so you can use less. Will I use it again? Yes. Like I said, like it melted away the lipstick really nicely and my lips actually feel kind of hydrated on this side. So I'll definitely use it for that. And if I have any um, crazy eye makeup going on, 
like I said earlier, there is also going to be a blog post about this on the same day, so I'll have it linked below so you can go check out my full thoughts on the collection. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.